elected officials will tell you the truth and that they will actually do what they say they're going to do during the campaign. Why is that revolutionary? I don't think it's revolutionary. I think it's what? Uh, <laughs> responsible. I think it's being a human being. And of course, we're taught the difference between right and wrong all throughout our lives. And now there's one theorist, by the way, I need to to mention, I can't remember his name, but his theory, he's uh, invented this new word called cactistocracy. And basically what he says is that now, unfortunately, people all over the world are uh, have their political institutions mm, uh, populated by the absolute worst people they're the most incompetent. They're the least uh, committed. They are um, the most unprincipled people. Those are the ones who have found their way to the top. Not necessarily the psychopaths or the sociopaths, but just people who are unprincipled, uncommitted, uneducated, uncaring. And somehow we've allowed that to happen. This cacistocracy, this... Um, uh, the existence of this phenomenon uh, basically around the world, I think it's something that goes with indirect democracy. And so I've begun to consider moving toward systems of direct democracy. This is, of course, what Libya had in the Jamaharia before the Western countries began to uh, try and dismantle the Jamaharia and actually successfully did, but there were efforts prior to the bombing to dismantle the direct democracy. And so, of course, we know Switzerland has direct democracy. Nigel Farage now has said that the UKIP is going to be committed to direct democracy. People in Ireland have a movement for direct democracy, and I think that uh, we need to look at changing the political system. Why should I give up my sovereignty that I have and give it to someone who later I have to beg to do the right thing by me? The, the whole system doesn't make sense. And that is the system of indirect democracy, which has been touted to be the highest form of democratic practice and democratic exercise. But all of that is propaganda. And basically what indirect democracy does is it allows those who have the money, those who have the power to buy off the legislatures around the world and get work their will through a minority of people. That has got to stop and I think direct democracy is a issue that we need to put into the common parlance as we d discuss mm, uh, political systems of the future. Hallelujah. I am with you 100% on, on those ideas and concepts. Uh, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being an incredible, brave, fearless human being who's not willing to stand down against these punks no matter what happens. You're always there, always fighting uh, for common sense, for for the ethical things of not hurting other people it's just that simple it's not it doesn't have to be convoluted with the left right uh hope drunk optimism uh obama tards trump kool-aid no get out of get out of that start looking at issues start looking at things that matter to you and start investigating them and you will find out the answer is not on either side of you it is right in front of you cynthia i want to leave you with the last word but also please before you give us your last word tell us where me, more people could find out more information about you 
Well, I'm available at uh, allthingscynthiamckinney.com. And so I encourage people to go and visit my website and learn. Uh, everything is there. But also one thing that I really want to say, Luke, I want to see you in the U.S. Congress. Uh, yeah, I've been thinking about it, to be honest with you. Yes. I know I know, you've been pushing me for, for like 10 years. I think 10 years ago we were talking and you were like, you got to be. And I was like, maybe. I have a whole I kind of thing of, I thought of a plan where I would uh, just go in there to confront all of them. And that's it. I wouldn't promise anything. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I would do this bill. Or I wouldn't promise my people anything except making it really difficult for, for those senators and congressmen to get from their office to the Senate because I'll be hounding them then with a camera and they won't be able to kick me out. So I've been thinking about that. Uh, you guys let me know what you think in the comment section below if that's even possible, but could be. I, I mean, it could be a possibility. Um, I, Cynthia, I thank you so much for your, it's your push. It's time, Luke. It's time. I think we definitely need some kind of new political party, something outside of the Greens, outside of the Libertarians, outside of the Democrats and Republicans. I think there's a new philosophy that's going to come up um, that's going to make a lot more sense for the people. Maybe the Common Sense Party. I don't know. We're going to talk about this. We'll sit down. We're going to talk about creating our own new political party, and we're going to get started from, from there. Uh, <laughs>